torn window screens on your home, you can pay to repair those or do it yourself. Matter of fact, this is one of my screens that took just a little bit of a mishap. That was the golf ball that hit it. You can replace this with a brand new screen yourself, and it's one of the easiest DIY projects and least expensive that most people do not attempt. Or after hearing a bang outside of my house, I went outside and asked the passing golfers, hey, did anybody hit my house? Of course they said no. I didn't believe them, so I ran upstairs. I saw the busted screen, and there she was. Titleist 92. Fortunately, the window was not broken, but the golfers, they were long gone, and the hole in the screen, it was still there. I could pay about $50 to have it rescreened, but you can do it yourself for about $15. First, remove the frame from the inside. This is filthy. Then measure the frame. Now buy a screen replacement kit that's big enough. Also choose between materials, typically fiberglass, maybe aluminum. This kit came with the screen, the spline that holds the screen in, and this roller tool to push the spline in. You will also need a utility knife, they include this tiny little one, and a tape measure. Plus, instead of using something like a screwdriver, there's even this other little tool with a hook on the end to remove the old spline. The spline came out in several sections. Five pieces. From there, just pull out the old screen. Now, lay the screen over the frame. Include an extra three inches or so all the way around. Cut away the unneeded part. At this point, most videos say it's time to use the sharper end of that roller tool to embed the screen all the way around and then put the spline and embed it. Instead, at the suggestion of my photographer, who has apparently done this many times before, just lay the spline on top of the screen and push them both into the channel at once. I also reused the same pieces of spline in the same area as they came from because they were already molded around the corners. So just push it in with your fingers like that. <clears throat> Get it down as much as you can. Then use this convex side, push down the rest. After getting two adjacent sides done, gently pull the screen taut while you push the spline in, all to make sure there are no wrinkles. This is why on this screen they use several different pieces, because the little things that hold it into the window also jet out into the gap, and so you can't use one piece, you gotta cut it off. Don't cut the screen, don't cut your finger, don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. I re-rolled the spline a couple of times to make sure it was seated. Once that's done, remove the extra material with a razor, making sure not to cut the spline. No need to go fast here. It's really, you don't have to push hard at all with a new blade. Took about a minute or two. Check it out. Looked pretty good. Look, Mom, no holes. Time to take it upstairs and reinstall. Here comes the screen. No problems, it fit right back in. Shut the window, and in less than an hour, done. Watch this backflip. Thanks, everybody, and I'm out. That's uh, not a backflip, Jones. That was a back somersault. Still very impressive, don't you think, Lind? Oh, yeah. Thank you. There's a link to the specific screen kit that I used on fox59.com. You can click on the old morning news tab and look for the home zone tab, where you'll then also find all the other projects we've done. And if you've done a project we can air, contact me at sjones at fox59.com.